Hello, and welcome back to another one of Dr. Monroe's material science videos. In this one, we'll be discussing crystals and what makes a crystal. So in a crystal, we have atoms in a periodic array. So what does that mean? Well, it means that if we were to look and shrink down to the size of the atoms and started looking around, we'd see that the centers of the atoms, think of these kind of as the nuclei of the atoms, will have a very periodic structure. So what that means is that if I look in this direction, there is a very well-defined distance between the center of this atom and the center of that atom. We call this an interatomic distance. Makes sense. Two atoms, there's a distance, interatomic. Now, if I look in this direction, I will notice that I have about the same distance between atoms. Boom. So the interatomic distance in this direction is the same as the interatomic distance in this direction. But the directions are different inside the material. On the other hand, if I look in a different direction, if I look, let's say, in this direction, the interatomic distance is a bit longer from the center of one atom to the center of the other. But if I keep going in that direction, I find another atom at the, that exact same distance. And so this periodicity between atoms, this periodic distance between atoms, is, uh, is what we call crystallinity. If you can move over and be certain that there'll be an atom there, then that is a crystal. If it doesn't follow a pattern like this, we call this an amorphous material. It doesn't have a crystalline structure. It has atoms um, that are kind of packed together in a weird way that we can't say, if I move a certain distance in a certain direction, I'll find another atom, then that's called an amorphous structure. So how do we define a crystal. Well, what we do is we take a subset of these atoms, and that small subset, if we repeat it in all directions, and in the third dimension coming out of the paper, if we repeat this unit in all directions three-dimensionally, we will repeat the same structure. So if I had the same thing and I, and I repeated it over here, it would look something like this. And if I repeated this down here, it would look something like this. And so I can feel, fill three-dimensional space with this subunit of atoms. But if I were to... Um, cut this even smaller, I wouldn't be able to repeat. And this smallest unit is something we call a unit cell. And the unit cell is the smallest atomic assembly that maintains the symmetry of the crystal. If I were to cut it any smaller, the symmetry would be broken and therefore I couldn't repeat this unit in three dimensions and get the same exact structure. 